we've just come back from watching the sunset <clears throat> which is really my last sunset before I go to the UK tomorrow uh, it's my favorite time of day uh, it's something really special and really beautiful in Nelad you have the shadows growing over the hills of Moab and you have the colors changing on the sea between us and Aqaba and the beginning of the lights of evening coming on and it's the changing of the worlds uh, this is my favorite time of day when I was a child in Africa uh, you notice that this was the time the time really of the changing of the worlds between daylight and darkness it was the time when little animals got close to their mothers uh, monkeys hugged their mothers it was a time of closing in of contraction before the forces of the night took over the time of predators uh, but it was a beautiful time it was a magic time it was the gap between the worlds and somewhere or another, it's a time that's always been very special for me to just sit there, be quiet, and watch what's happening. And tonight was especially poignant because I'll probably be away for some time. Uh, we're leaving our house because the ownership has changed and uh, we've got to hunt for a new place. So everything is in a place, in a position of flux at the moment. And this has led to a degree of insecurity. Uh, I've always said that insecurity has its benefits. When you become totally secure and you become totally set in your ways, then you eliminate all the possibility for something new to happen. But sometimes, very quietly, it's difficult to find um, the kind of optimism that one needs at that particular moment. Uh, there was something of this tonight, but on the other hand, there was an understanding that uh, everything would be okay. And uh, I don't know why I'm sharing this, who the hell else would be interested in it, but um, the cat likes it anyway and the cat's feeling a certain degree of insecurity because we're packing everything away in boxes and cats understand so much and it's so hard to explain to her and to reassure her that everything will be okay but anyway uh, good luck to all you my friends I'll be in England for two months I'll be available hopefully there for clinics, for talks, just to meet people. It would be a real pleasure. So I hope you'll get in touch. I'll be leaving uh, traces on my Facebook and I'll be leaving a final message which has been haunting me in the last few days. I became aware during a, the instructor's course that we just did that uh, there was a piece missing in the whole question of uh, lung squeeze and something that we'd been doing for a long time suddenly became very important uh, to share over the question of lung squeeze because I didn't realize that everybody else wasn't doing it because it's been a long time since I've been at a competition so anyway, over the next few days, as soon as I get settled, I'll be writing a little note on this. If anybody's interested in it, it might just stop uh, something bad happening. And I very much recommend that you spend 30 seconds to read it. You're welcome to like, including my blog, to comment, to support on Patreon, to follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I hope I'll be writing quite a lot in the coming few weeks. Anyway, I uh, want to wish you all well and uh, I'm going on my journey now.
right on the Gala Airport. Well, and I'll try and get in touch with my English friends. I get all the best.